we, we have been with her. Yeah. You've Shalin Foundation. Mm. I'd like to know how have you felt to mm. having having done what you've done mm. for the first time mm. uh, in launching the Shalin Foundation. Uh, thanks, Eve. So today we did a soft launch of the Shalin Ruto Foundation, and one of our donors had 1,400 packets of food. Nali to Lisa, where do you want to take the food to? So we chose Kibra, and we went to one of the schools there, and we visited the community. So I felt so good to see all those women and all those families to come and receive the food. And this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Sinataka to Ingen Dani Dani to all the slums, to all the areas, to all the counties, so that we can see how we can help our community. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe uh, we have already uploaded the video, and some mm -hmm. of the questions that are coming up is mm -hmm. why did you choose Kibra as mm -hmm. the first uh, place to mm -hmm. go? Um, the reason I chose Kibra is I used to go on the when back when we were in Karen under uh, the ODP when Dad was DP. We I used to use the Southern bypass the whole time when I used to go to work or go for my things. So I always used to see the Kibra community. Mm -hmm. So that's the first place I decided to go because it's somewhere that I always used to see. So that's why the choice for Kibra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, maybe you can tell us what mm -hmm. is that one factor that has pushed you mm -hmm. uh, to launch this foundation and mm -hmm. what are your dreams? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know uh, a lot of Kenyans have been wondering what am I doing, I'm going around counties, what is it exactly, yeah. and I'm not asking for anyone to give me a position anywhere, I don't need to have a position anywhere to do what I'm doing, that's why I decided to have my own initiative, so that I can help the community and Kenyans, and really to be a voice for our youth. Because I feel uh, there's a lot our president is doing internationally and nationally, also our first lady, our cabinet secretaries, ministries, county um, governors and that kind of thing. But who is standing up for the youth? And since our president loves the youth so much, we already have a seat on the table. Mm -hmm. But who is going to be the one to push for the youth? And that's why I decided I'm going to be that person and I'm going to be a voice for the youth and to stand up for the youth and our communities. Mm -hmm. And for me, the youth begins from our children who are in primary school because that's where they're beginning to get the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So from that level to our high schools, our unis, our young people who are working, so that we can work together to see how we can make Kenya mm -hmm. better. Okay, maybe have you guys planned the next place where you guys are going to take the donations? We haven't and I would love for the people listening on this platform to tell us where next they want us to go. So and many people suggested <laughs> Turkana. Turkana, so our up on your stand next. Mm -hmm. That's where we'll go next. Okay, you yeah. mentioned about Wewe Kuzubuka, what exactly are you doing? Mm. Maybe you can tell us, have you at any point felt mm. uh, like you've been missed at school? Yeah, I'm very misunderstood and it's fine. I understand it uh, It comes with it because my family is a political family. I want to be in politics in a what few years. The next? <laughs> the next so and so. But for me, uh, those things are secondary. Right now, we've moved past the political stage. We need our country to work. There's so much our government is putting in place. So all of us need to come together so that we can work for our country. And I was, I was telling the people in Kibra today, but this time, I'm because there are programs being put in place and we need to be a part of this so that Kenya can be better. Mm -hmm. Okay, mentioning that you, are, you wouldn't want maybe to be the next someone in the, in the government, does it mean you don't have any dream to ever maybe be a leader in Kenya? Um, I believe there's a difference between leadership and politics okay. and I also don't need a title to lead. I can lead without a title. That's why I've taken this position. Mm -hmm. mm, I've been, I've seen politics firsthand for the past about, I think my father has been in politics for like 27 years. So I've seen politics firsthand for 27 years. I've seen the good, I've seen the bad, I've seen the challenges that come with it. So that is something that I understand. But for me, I've decided to take this direction of doing leadership through my foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, maybe uh, in your foundation, mm -hmm. uh, do you have people that you're working with, people who are helping, there are also people who have been asking how they can join, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so uh, today was a soft launch of the foundation. Uh, towards January, February, we're going to do a big launch of the foundation. Right now we're putting the systems, the structures, so by that time people will be able to know the system they can use to join the foundation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, moving forward, uh, Charlene, you've said you've been misunderstood <laughs> and recently you shared a story where where you said that you used to sell smokies and uh, sausages and hey, your story met me and I can't handle it. You Okay, maybe you can uh, tell us a little bit about yeah. it mm -hmm. and do you think what you are working the point you are trying to put out? Mm -hmm. 
So uh, that happened when I was in a forum for youth where we were talking about savings and investment and these youth are in campus. So I just wanted to give them a story for how even when I was in campus, uh, I was doing my own biashara. Uh, the thing is, I'm the daughter of the chief hustler. I'm a hustler. So I've seen him hustle and I've also hustled in my own ways. I didn't go to any um, any system for Britain system or American system. I went to Kenyan schools throughout. I was in my girls Eldoret in high school. I came to Daystar University for uni. So I understand even the challenges that Kenyan youth face because I was there myself and I could see them. So it's a true story. I used to sell smoky and kachumbari and I think my classmates and people I shared a dorm with, because I, I used to stay here in Atiriva in a dorm here. Um, I stayed here for two years and I was in also the Valley Road campus. So I have a, an experience of what the Kenyan youth undergo in different circumstances. So minim to niko kwa ground in. Even though my father is now the president, um, I ni minim to niko kwa ground the whole time. If I can call my friends here to say how I've even been to Gikomba. I mean people who tell me they've never been to Gikomba. I've been to Gikomba so many times to do shopping. And uh, I, I get to see really what is on the ground. So Machayangu are alive to that and I'm very alive to that. So in regards to that story, as I'm being misunderstood, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And I've just spoken the truth. So that's something that really happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you selling the smokies yourself or maybe you had uh, people doing it for you? Okay, so I was in a hostel here called Dupa in Daysta and it's a girls only hostel. And I had a roommate and the next door we had another roommate. So the three of us decided to come up with that business idea because we saw people really loved the smoky kachumbari. Yeah. So I was doing it myself. Mm -hmm. I did it myself. My roommate Sylvia was doing it. Uh, my roommate Nyokabi. We joined forces to Kekapesa Pamoja and we started smelling, selling the smoky kachumbari. Mm -hmm. So we sold it for about a year and then we moved on to do other biasharas. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Why we grew from stop? that. <laughs> you know, you also get the market. Kuna time market so that's why we stopped and moved to other things. You have so many memories. Yeah. Uh, and today you're back here. How, did, how does it make you feel? Yeah, it, uh, as we came in, it, it makes me feel very proud. And actually, I've realized Daystar really nurtured me into who I am today. It's a Christian university, so it's based on Christian values and principles. So it really has nurtured me to be who I am today in terms of leadership and servant leadership. That's why you're seeing me um, doing what I'm doing today. So memories in Mekwa Mingi. I've seen some people I was in school with. I'm asking them what they are doing. Many of them are doing well. And I'm so glad to hear that. So Nimewambia Pia, we see how we can work together mm -hmm. to help current Dista students and even in our different forums to help other youth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now that uh, you know, you're on the spotlight, mm -hmm. everybody is uh, Googling Shaleen, everybody wants to know uh, who is this girl, what is she doing? Uh, how do you feel when you see people criticizing you, mm -hmm. criticizing your work? Mm -hmm. Uh, something I do, I don't let things get to my heart easily because those people, if they were to meet me today in person, young, they were to a picture. The same ones who are bashing me on social media. So I don't allow things to get to my heart. I also know everybody has their personal opinion which they can have freely. So I also keep that in mind. But some of the things people say, maybe they are hurtful or you know, you, you can just be disappointed. But I know in my heart what I'm doing. So even though people think I'm lying or people think I'm doing it for clout or other things, in my heart of hearts, I know what I'm doing. I'm happy with it. I know it's what will push the youth of Kenya forward. So with that knowing I know what I'm doing, then I'm able to do it well. Okay, despite yeah. everything, every challenge that you face each and every day, what is that one thing that keeps you going? Every day you feel like, you know, uh, I'm not going to be discouraged. Mm -hmm. maybe you still keep pushing. What is that one factor that motivates you? God is the number one factor. Um, I really pray and my friends pray with me, my family pray with me. God is the number one factor. And I always go back to the Bible to read through other leaders who underwent the challenges I'm undergoing because it really encourages me. My family are also my bedrock. They really support me in what I'm doing and also some of my friends. Mm -hmm. Those are my three key encouragers. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kido? Uh, maybe just to add, maybe to ask. I don't know if you can make it clear, maybe if you can yeah, just understand yeah. because most of them are saying uh, you're, you're using uh, government resources. Mm -hmm. From my end, I know you're supporting your financial own, you're using your own money maybe to push the agenda of uh, uh, Shalindu Foundation. Yeah. Um, 
Shalim Ritual Foundation has different donors and sponsors who have come on board, some are individuals, actually a lot of individuals have come to me, a lot of people who are in business, they've come to me and they've supported the foundation, even I have put my own resources in and my own team, so we're not using government resources um, to do the activities we are doing and we don't need to. And I encourage any Kenyan youth who has a brilliant idea to just look for their own ways to fund them and to get the right the right uh, way to do the things that they are doing. We don't need um, the government to come into our things for them to work. The work of government is to create an enabling environment for us to be able to help Kenyans and that's what they are doing. So us, we do our parts. Yeah. Marceline, uh, you've been going around the country supporting people, uh, climate change, uh, supporting the youth. Uh, what has your dad, His Excellency the President, said about it? How does he feel about it and what has he told you? Has he encouraged you? What has he said? Uh, thanks. Um, we had a good sit down with my dad where I shared with him my vision and what I'm doing and he really supports me, he is encouraging me and I always keep him updated about the things that I'm doing, both my parents, my mom and my dad. They are really keen supporters of this. I mean, when your parents support you, it gives you even more motivation to do what you're doing. So they really support what I'm doing and I've told them everything I'm doing and I keep updating them with Tuyote mm -hmm. mm. Okay, as you conclude, Shali. Uh, Shali, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. just on the side, I've seen from, uh, from there so yeah. many students are yeah. around you, maybe they want you to mentor them, maybe. Yeah. You can share with us maybe one memory you had with, uh, you had at Lace University, mm -hmm. and maybe how are you planning to work with the alumni? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think even in this hall where we are standing, we had many great events that used to happen in Daystar, we used to have people coming to speak to us, mentors. So one of the ways we work with the Alumni Association is we come back to talk to the students who are there currently so that we encourage them as they're going to go out there. Things may not be the way they think, but if us, we've made it, then even them, they're going to make it. So we're looking to how we can do a form of mentorship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Talk to Kenyans, maybe a word, of, a word of message, maybe to them during this festive season. Yeah. Merry Christmas, guys. Um, I think as we donated food in Kibra today, something I thought is if each one of us as Kenyans can give something to someone who doesn't have, it doesn't have to be a, a big donation, but someone we don't have, even giving them something worth 300 shillings, unga or rice, some of us have so much food in our houses and there are those who don't have. So if we can give that as well to someone who doesn't have, just somebody, even you've noticed, maybe in Yule Makanga na Kubeba Kila Asubuyu Mpe Kitu Kidogo, it will be good. What about a word to the young people who are looking up to you? Okay. Yeah. Hey, thanks to the youth, they've really supported me and I know you're my soldiers out there uh, on social media, Mnani Defend. So we are, through the Shalin Ruto Foundation, we are really creating a lot of opportunities for youth. There are many scholarships that are coming, so we are going to share this with you so that even you guys, you can grow. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Shali. Okay. We really appreciate it. Asanteni. Na nyingi, there are fake ones. Walikuwa na kon watu. Misi yezi ambio watu at if you retweet, I'll buy you breakfast. That's not fair. So uh, my Twitter is at Shal Ruto. That's C-H-A-R-L-R-U-T-O. My Facebook is Shalin Ruto. And um, my Instagram is also Shalin Ruto. And my Vati Shatia Hasla Kwaila Instagram. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Eve. Uh, thanks, Kido. Uh, oh, TikTok. My TikTok is Shal Ruto. C-H-A-R-L-R-U-T-O. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.